Okay, so um, we're gonna do this work power heat exercise worksheet. So of the three, um, I think all well, math wise, this is the trickiest, the most difficult. Um, just a lot of moving around, a lot of back and forth with the numbers and stuff. And so we'll go through it and um, hopefully make some sense out of all this. But first, you know, if you notice with the other two sheets, what I did was I put some formulas on the sheet just to help me. What I've done with this sheet is I actually made up another sheet and uh, looks like that. Just to, uh, I just found that this really helps to, uh, to work through this sheet. I'm just gonna increase my size here a little bit and uh, hopefully that helps out a little bit. But um, yeah, so the work, distance times weight, distance times weight equals work. Where the horsepower comes from, and then down at the bottom here, horsepower equals 746 watts, kilowatts, one kilowatt equals 3,413 BTUs, one watt is 3.413 BTU. So we're gonna take all the stuff, we're gonna do some, some math and we're gonna fill in these boxes and hopefully by the time we're done, um, makes a little bit of sense. I'm gonna, do it sort of the same way we did the other ones. I'm gonna put a sheet here and I'm um, gonna show you how we work through this. Now I don't think my calculator is going to fit on this screen as well. If I move this over here and uh, move this over here. I got part of it anyway, so you got the answer, which I think will help. First one's pretty straightforward. Um, sort of do it in line. So in order to get work here, distance and weight. So I'm gonna use the formula up in the top right corner. Oh, and, and you know, I would have suggested, you can pause the video, all right? So pause the video, write those formulas on your sheet so that you can actually look at them and access them. Work, distance times weight. So 500 times 100, 50,000 foot pounds. And I do that work in this amount of time. So the thing that I can figure out from here is this, So I have work divided by time, divided by 33,000 equals horsepower. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take work, I'm gonna divide it by time, and I'm gonna divide it by 33,000. And that gives me that number, which it should, divided by five, oops, let's divide it by five, divided by, so that's where this came from. Once I have horsepower, now I can fill in the rest of these boxes. So I know that one horsepower equals 746 watts. So if one horsepower equals 746 watts, 746 divided by 0 0.303. Well, let, let me show you how I got that. So one horsepower equals 746. Point three zero zero three. Horsepower equals
746 divided by 0 0.303. That's not wrong. That's wrong. Okay, one. Let me think about this for a minute. And so, if one horsepower equals 746, then 0 0.30 is three horsepower equals 746 times 0 0.303. So 746 times 0 0.303, 226. Hundred and twenty six watts. If I know I'm just gonna if I know the kilowatts and, and watt relationship, I know that this is point two two six. And then using the formula that I have in the bottom for BTUs, one kilowatt equals three thousand four hundred and thirteen BTUs or one watt equals three point four one three. Whichever one makes more sense for you, I'll use the, the watt. So let's slide this up here. So if one, one watt equals 3.413 BTUs, then 226 watts equals 3.413 times 226. 3.413. Four one three times two hundred and twenty six. And I end up with seven hundred and seventy one point three. There, there's the first line. There's yes. A little bit of work there, working with the math, right? Okay, so that's the first one. Second one, throw a little bit of a glitch into it. You know, so I've got this distance weight, but now I have to work it backwards because I have weight. I don't have distance, but I have the final. So I can take rough work times distance equals, sorry, weight times distance equals work. Then distance equals work divided by weight. So distance equals 10,000 divided by 500. Now I can put 20 in this box. And now that I have all of these numbers, I can go, if I go over to my work time 33,000 formula to get horsepower, I can dig work time. So Horsepower equals, let me slide this up a little bit, work divided by time divided by 33,000. So let's move that down here. 10,000 divided by two divided by 33,000. And Thousand divided by thirty three point one five. Oops, point one 
0.15. If I take 0.15, multiply it by 726. get close to that. I think what happened with that is somebody took the long number. Yeah, end up with a little bit different there. So this could be slightly different, could be around the 110 mark, depending on, okay, now we're going back to how many decimal places am I using again? <clears throat> Just I'm trying to figure out where they got that number from. So this is actually closer to 110. Let's just say 110 here. So then I take the 726, or sorry, the 110, and I get 0.11. And if I take the 0.11 or the 110, and multiply it by 3413. And I end up with 375. And again, yeah, these numbers might be slightly different depending on where you ended up with here. And that depends on where you ended up with here, how many decimal places you went to there. So there you go. Now, this is getting more complicated. Change my sheets here. Now we gotta start working backwards. This, we don't have enough information to fill any of these boxes in here. So now what I have to do is I have to take this number, work it backwards in order to get this number. Once I get this number, then I can work it backwards to get into these numbers. So 85,000 BTUs to watts. So if one watt equals 3.413 BTUs and 85,000 divided by 3.413, 24,905. Really, what I did there, 85,000 divided by 3.413 equals watts. If I divide it by 3413 without the decimal, it would equal, if I did 85,000 divided by 3413 equals kilowatts. Which basically is 24.9. So, now that I have the 24905, I know that one watt is 746, sorry, 746 BT watts is one horsepower. I can take the 24905. 
divided by 746. And I ended up with 33.5 horsepower, 33.4. And how I got that was 24905 divided by 746. Because one watt equals, sorry, one horsepower equals 746 watts. So I take that divided by 746 and that gives me the number of horsepower. Now that I have the number of horsepower, I can take it over to this formula and work this backwards. So if work equals, if horsepower equals work divided by time divided by 33,000, then I can work that backwards. Horsepower times 33,000 times time should equal work. 33.4 times 33 times time is one. So one, one, zero, two, 200. Okay, so I took the 33.4 times, well, it's over over here times 33,000 times time and now 1102 200 divided by 250 4409, 4408.8. That's number three. This one I'm gonna end up doing the same thing. The numbers are gonna be very close because that is very close to that. So the numbers aren't gonna be exact, but they're gonna be very close. So if I know my power is 25 kilowatts, I know that it's 25,000 watts. I know 25 times 3413. I know my BTUs, 83,325, so 85,325. So my horsepower is going to be 25,000 divided by 726. Thirty-four point four. Now I'm going to do what I did before. Thirty-four point four times thirty-three thousand times time. basically take the whole formula that's over here, reversed it. Thirty-four 
in 4.4 times times two. Two, 270, 400. And I'm going to take that divided by a thousand. So my work is 2270. Okay, so I took this divided by that to give me the weight. Okay, this one, I don't know time, but I do, I am able to get this box, so that divided by that, which should equal that, 150,000, divided by 150, should be 1,000. I don't know time, but I do know horsepower. So we got another sheet of paper here. So what I know is that because I have this, I know that 75. I'm uh, going back to this formula over here, 75 times 33,000 times time equals 150,000. So now I can take this, take this, move it down here. So 150,000 over seven, oh, gonna clear that for 75 times 33, two, four, seven, five, zero, 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 and 150,000 divided by Two four seven five zero 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 point zero six. That's not the answer that I'm looking for. Did I do that right? Seventy five times. Let me try that again. Okay, 75 equals work times time divided by time divided by 33,000. The work, 150,000 divided by time divided by, I manipulated the formula wrong. I believe so. First, I'm going to multiply both sides by 33,000. 75 times 33,000 equals. T one, sorry, 150. Divided by T. So now we have to d 
divide. So this is going to end up being this. equals 25 times 33 divided by 16. I'm still not getting, well, I was right the first time. I was right the first time. Yeah, so. Where am I? The answer should be point, roughly point zero six. So this formula here, the way that I did it the first time, I was right. 150. Oh, well, let's do it this way. I did the 75 times 33 at the 2,465,000, the 150,000 divided by two, oops, oops, 150 divided by two, four, seven, five, zero, 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 point zero six. The time is Point zero six minutes. And so now we just one horsepower is seven hundred forty six watts. So seventy five times seven forty six fifty five nine fifty. Five point nine, and I can do this either with the three three or the three four one three. So I have this number up here now. So I'm just going to take the fifty five nine fifty and multiply it by three point four one three. All right, so I've got that from down here, right? Right here. Well, 55,950 times 3.413 equals Okay. Ooh, not a lot to go with here. But I do have enough to know that I have five kilowatts. So I have 5,000 watts. So five times three, four, one, three. Oops. Five. Times three, four, one, three, so seventeen zero six five BTUs. And five thousand divided by seven twenty six. Seven forty six. Seven forty six. Seven forty six. Six. Point seven horsepower. I took this because one horsepower is 746 watts. So I take the 5,000 divided by 746, gives me 6.7 horsepower. And again, now I can work backwards. All right, so Horsepower equals work times time times 33,000. So I know the horsepower, 6.7. 
I don't know the work. I know the time is 10. So do work times. Oh, so that work divided by this one. That's where I'm getting four. That would have been really messed up. So first day. Six point seven times thirty three thousand times ten equals two million two hundred and eleven thousand. pounds and now two million two hundred eleven thousand divided by ten thousand will give me the week two hundred and twenty one two more to go Lean. And again, I'm going to work backwards. I've got 20,000 BTUs. So 20,000 divided by 3, 4, and 3. Going back to down here. I can do it. Three four one three. Or I can do three point four one three. Let's do three four one three. Five point eight six kilowatts. Or if I did three point four one three, it would be. Five eight five nine point nine at fifty eight sixty. So let me show you that. So if I did the twenty thousand, right by three four three point four one three fifty eight sixty, which I know that. 5860 divided by 746. So I know that it has 7.8 horsepower. All right, and then going back to this again. Horsepower equals Work divided by time divided by 33. I know horsepower is 7.8. I don't know the work. Time is one, 33,000. So W equals 7.8 times one, which is moot, times 33,000 equals 7.8 times 
And if I want to get the last box, I take the 257400, divide by 500. 514.8. So that's Alan. Last one, very similar as far as the operations go, just the numbers are different. I know I got 20,000, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to move decimal places over here. I've got 20,000 BTUs of heat, 20,000 divided by 3413, two, or sorry, 200,000 divided by 3413, 58.6. I do the 200,000 divided by 3.413. We get 58,599. Hey, if I want to take the 58,599 and get horsepower, divided by 746. So I got 78.6 horsepower. Okay, now I'm gonna take my horsepower formula. So 78.6 equals 78.6 work, I don't know. Divided by time, five divided by 33,000. So W work equals 78.6 times five times 33,000. Five times 12, 969. Twelve million nine hundred sixty-nine thousand. So twelve nine six nine zero zero zero. And if I divide that by five thousand, twenty-five ninety-four. Twenty-five ninety-three point eight. Let me put the decimal in there just so I don't. Get any problems there? So yes, uh, knowledge of math obviously a uh, necessary part of working these out. So there's the answer sheet for the work power heat exercise. Hope that helps.